Before installing your Every Stage FX car seat, please review your car seat instruction manual. Always remember to properly install the car seat on your vehicle seat before placing your child in it. The rearward facing mode is for children from birth to 18 kilograms, which is approximately four years old. It is recommended to keep a child rearward facing for as long as possible. This is why Every Stage FX has an extended rearward facing rating up to 18 kilograms. When used rearward facing, the shoulder harness slots must be even with or just below the child's shoulders. There are two recline positions for rearward facing. Align one of the top blue arrows with the bottom reclining indicator. To install, rotate the infant body support. Pass the vehicle waist belt through the vehicle waist belt slots. Check that there are no twists in the vehicle seat belt. Engage the vehicle buckle. Pull and tension the waist belt. Pass the vehicle shoulder belt through the rear facing belt guide. Open the locking clip and insert the vehicle seat belt through it. Then lock the clip. Double check that there is significant tension in the waist belt. Replace the infant body support for children under 9 kilograms. Place the child in the seat. Pull the shoulder harnesses over the child's shoulders, then click the buckle. Pull the shoulder harness adjustment strap to tighten the harness, ensuring the child is secure. Group 1 is forward facing for children between 9 and 18 kilograms, which is approximately 1 to 4 years old. There are four recline positions for forward facing. Align one of the top red arrows with the bottom reclining indicator. When used in forward facing mode, the shoulder harness slots must be even with or just above the child's shoulders. There are two installation options for Group 1 forward facing. The Every Stage FX can be installed using the vehicle seat belt or using the Isofix connectors and top tether. To install using the vehicle seat belt, pull out the vehicle seat belt and thread the belt through the two forward facing vehicle belt slots at the back of the car seat, ensuring there are no twists in the vehicle seat belt. Engage the vehicle buckle. Open the locking clip and insert the vehicle seat belt through it. Pull the vehicle shoulder belt to tighten. Double check that there is significant tension in the waist belt and that the car seat does not move on the vehicle seat. To install using Isofix, extend the Isofix connectors. Align the Isofix connectors with the vehicle Isofix points, then click the connectors straight onto the Isofix points. There should be an audible click and the Isofix indicators should be green, indicating proper placement. Double check that the car seat is securely installed by pulling on both Isofix connectors. Press the Isofix release button and push the child seat back until it is snug against the vehicle seat. Connect the tether hook to the vehicle's anchor point, then tighten the tether. Place the child in the seat. Pull the shoulder harnesses over the child's shoulders, then click the buckle. Pull the shoulder harness adjustment to tighten the harness, ensuring the child is secure. Storing the shoulder harness for booster mode. Detach the snaps on the seat pad. Place the shoulder harness straps, buckle and buckle tongues in the harness hideaway storage compartments. in the seat pad and then store the buckle in the harness hideaway. Groups 2 and 3 are forward facing for children between 15 and 36 kilograms, which is approximately 3 to 12 years old. There are four recline positions for groups 2 and 3. Align one of the top red arrows with the bottom reclining indicator. 
the child in the seat. Pull out the vehicle seat belt and pass the vehicle waist belt through the waist belt slots. Engage the vehicle buckle. Place the vehicle shoulder belt through the shoulder belt guide. For more detail, please review your car seat instruction manual or visit www.joybaby.com.